The capital city came to a standstill today as the hibiscus float procession made its way through the streets to Albert Park. Thousands flocked to see the kings and queens in their unique mode of transport for today. Our reporter Maggie Boyle went along to check out the color and atmosphere on the last day of the festival. Vodafone High Vista's 2008 float procession for over an hour through the streets of Suva. With prospective queens riding their chariots, there were also social messages to be dispersed amidst the expectant crowds. And with all good things, there comes an end. The Vodafone Hibiscus 2008 festival is at its close. Another queen awaits her crowning. Another king awaits his crown. The rides, candy floss and food stalls this time next week will be a distant memory. But has this festival been bigger and better than the ones before? You be the judge. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting. The uh, first thing is just uh, the climate, the weather, the wind, uh, which is okay by now. And uh, secondly, we are crowded. There are so many crowds in here. What was the best thing about hibiscus this year? But the floats. I like hibiscus and the... <laughs> I like it so much. Okay. Yeah, it thanks very much to see the hibiscus festival. Has it been a lot of work this year? Well, it's quite uh, getting more and more people really coming to this. I enjoyed it with my kids, especially with my kids. What was the best thing about hibiscus this year? Uh, the swing for the kids. What did you like at Hibiscus? Float. Floats. Ramolila. 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 What's that? To slide on the slides. Hibiscus with the contestants. Yes. And do you think this was better than the years before? Yes. Well organized. The crowning of the Queen and King contestants will air live on Fiji 1 from 6.30 this evening. Maggie Boyle, One National News.